Just see the hashtag I am Vanessa Guillen. All those men and women in our service suffering from sexual harassment, suffering from sexual assault because they report it, yet they take it as a joke. My sister's no joke. My sister's a human being. And I want justice. And I want answers. Because my sister did not do this to herself. Someone did it. We believe that the person that uh, killed her uh, is that person that sexually harassed her, the one that walked into the shower. She was taking a shower, she was in the locker room. He walked in and sat there and she was very creeped out as one would be, a young 19 year old girl. Why is a man walking in a shower watching her? Who's her superior? So, um, you know, this again, shouldn't have happened. And now she's not with us. I've always been around military people, military friends, family, everything like that. I'm also going to go into the military, and I know a whole bunch of friends that have been victims of sexual assault and harassment. And I saw somebody post up on Twitter that they were raped at Fort Sam in their A school. Wow. And then I posted up right below her. Mm. And then another girl. Oh my God. And another girl. And the next thing I knew, there were almost a dozen of us. When I had to verify my rape had actually happened because I was too intoxicated to tell my story, wow. they asked me, how did I know it happened? Mm. And I asked the you person got this, we got you. in class the next day, and his line was, yeah, it happened. You were so cute. I just had to, you. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh, that's sick. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was over it until I saw Vanessa. Mm. Each and every one of us standing here today has either been a victim or has known someone who was a victim. Now is the time for conversation. Now is the time to stand up and say no more. Now is the time to say I am Vanessa Gillian. Now is the time to say I've been hurt. I was harassed. And that nasty joke, that inappropriate touch, it's not right. I'm a veteran, uh, I have a wife in the military, and uh, we need to stand up for our, our ladies in the uniform. They've been uh, failed for far too long. Their, uh, their stories have been wiped under the rug for far too long. Uh, we need to get the sexual assault program out of the military's hands, and into the civilians' hands, into a non-biased program, so that these women can be heard, and the males as well, that are victims of sexual assault. In 2013, I was sexually harassed by my NCO, Staff Sergeant. I went to my leadership, because at the time I was in training, I went to everyone above me, and they all told me <laughs> that he denied everything. So they swept it under the rug. They didn't keep my sister safe. They always try to cover up for each other. Why? My sister's a human too. She deserves respect. She deserves to be heard because if this